still suck at Garden Warfare 2. Here are seven more pro tips to help you get better at the game. Ready? Go! This tech is how to teleport with any beam bomb or mega heal bomb. In order to perform this tech, we need to throw our beam bomb or heal bomb against any wall, walk on it constantly, while also moving uh, your camera. If you're lucky enough, you will teleport. Where you teleport to is sadly random. So sometimes you would teleport like this, <laughs> or sometimes you would teleport like this. Some other side notes to take note of is, for a pea shooter, uh, this works on every beam bomb, but it works best with a sombrero beam bomb uh, by stepping on top of the sombrero. A pea shooter may also uh, perform this with no wall necessary, but it all comes down uh, to preference. For scientists, if you'd like uh, to spawn an instant wall uh, to try to teleport, use armored heal station and uh, then throw your heal bomb on that. Every party character has uh, the ability uh, to go into party time uh, when 5 vanquishes are reached, if that is through 5 normal vanquishes or 5 shared vanquishes. As party imp, he could activate party time inside of his mech. In order to uh, perform this, go into your mech once uh, you've reached 4 out of 5 vanquishes into party time. While in your mech, instead of going for a normal vanquish, go for a shared vanquish. Uh, this may be a little difficult uh, to pull off, uh, but the reward is very worth it uh, from gaining increased movement speed, damage, and defense, while also being extremely fun. <laughs> these guys have way too much health, so let's change that. While fighting any of these AI, in instead of firing at their armor, shoot at their feet. You can also shoot at their face, however shooting at their feet is easier and more uh, consistent. I often see this mistake happen a lot online, so let's go over it. When Engineer is on Bolt Blaster, firing at the Bolt Blaster itself uh, will cause no damage to the Engineer at all. In order to deal damage, uh, you need to aim at your crosshair at the Engineer himself. If you're playing as a Corn, you can also shuck shot at the Engineer pretty easily. If you are the Engineer player though, if you aim straight upwards, uh, you can become super difficult uh, to attack. If you're being attacked by Sprint Tackle, Ultra Tackle, Heroic Kick, or Spin Dash, you can actually benefit from getting hit. While being attacked, if you let go of all movement options, you're sent at a further distance and making it harder for the enemy to attack you. A little bonus is, if you jump as you're about to get hit by Heroic Kick, Sprint Tackle, or Ultra Tackle, you will be sent flying into the air, making it even harder for the zombie player to know where you are. You can also incorporate other movement tech that we weren't in part 1 with this strategy. A reminder, just because you know this tech, that does not mean you should be manually getting hit by sprint tackles or spin dashes. This should be only used as a backup plan if you do get hit by any of these abilities. If you are using any drone airstrike, a butter barrage, or a bigger better butter, these abilities will not work under roofs. These abilities will also not work at all on the last point of a Great White North or Moonbase Z. Normally, if you use Rocket Leap, you end up using it like this most likely. However, there is a much faster option that can be performed. If you use uh, the Rocket Leap ability, uh, let go of all movement options, uh, and then spam jump, uh, you can move at a much faster speed than if you were uh, to just uh, use the ability normally. I go over more Rocket Leap strategies in this video, uh, so be sure to go watch that if you're interested. Uh, well, uh, that's the end of part 5 of this series. If you'd like uh, this series to continue, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, since me seeing a, a big number lets me know you're enjoying uh, this series and gives me motivation. If you have any questions on how to uh, uh, perform any tips or tech in this video, uh, uh, be sure uh, to leave a comment and I will gladly uh, respond in full detail. Uh, well, see you in the next one. If there is a next one, that is.